Okay, so finally, time has come to remove the the ZX600 uh, motor from the bike and get it prepped and ready to start our uh, Razor buggy build. That's going to be pretty cool. So, first thing I'm going to be doing is removing the tank. So already bolted it from the frame. Just trying to lift it up while I disconnect the fuel line. It's gonna be a little bit of fuel that's spilled out there that's been sitting in the filter. That's fine. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna leave the fuel pump hooked up to the to the tank by disconnect the connection from the cable and that connection is in here. Right in here. There, it's a connection for the show pump. Let's try to do this with one hand. There we go. And the pump should come out. Alright, there's the pump. Just leave everything hooked up the way it is there. Just keep everything together as I'd like to do. This out of here, another spot. So, okay, right now we're on the right side of the bike. We're gonna be removing the the hoses that carries the engine coolant and uh, get those drained. Hopefully, not make too much of a mess. Well, let's leave this one and undo this one so we can drain that hose properly, hopefully. This bike wasn't running for a while, so I'm not running as in driving. It's been used for a while, so I'm not expecting too much fuel, uh, coolant to be in there as it needed to be. The radiator had a hole in it, so not much coolant um, stayed in it due to that. So leaks everywhere okay so th those lines are on on hook I believe there's another one either side but uh, what we'll do is get the other one on the other side Something. there's a drain screw right here let's try and undo that one and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make less of a mess. All right, let's undo this drain screw. Let's see if we can uh, keep most of the coolant in here. Perfect. Not too bad.
Continue to remove the other clamp from the front, from the front hose. Now to remove the overflow bottle. This overflow bottle also has a crack right here, but we'll probably be able to save that. We'll be able to maybe use some uh, plastic um, JB well of some sort just to seal that up. That should work fine. Not that important for the bill. as well so we'll keep that very well dripping maybe try to open it up and drain it all out hmm. there we go lines uh, this one will be connected to on the other side to the radiator so we'll take that apart okay moving on removing the radiator already unbolted it it's a couple bolts now we're holding it on two up top here two up top there and one on the bottom, one bracket on the bottom. And this is where the front tire contact the radiator. And uh, right here. And uh, that end up damaging the radiator and that's where it leaks from. So this radiator will have to be replaced. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the chain. bit rusty. Get that link out of there. And 
how that chain can come out. Perfect. Put that aside. Next we're going to move on to removing the clutch cables and uh, let's uh, start removing the carb as well. All right, let's uh, get this cable off. Get this out of here. There we go. Touch cable removed. Now we're going to be moving the carb. So to do that. I'll get, get it unbolted from the heat ticks. Okay, we're just removing the air filter. Access Okay, what we're going to be doing is removing the carb got the air box removed <clears throat> Now it's pretty simple there's this uh, four Allen key um, screws here that holds on the carb. You just gotta loosen up those guys and pop the carb right out. Just like that. Now, we moving the cables. Already <laughs> loosen up this nut that goes right through the whole back side of this here. It's served my two purposes basically um, but anyways loosen that up then you can get a get this little holder loosen once it's loosened then you can pop the cable out like that and this one comes out same thing with the other one pop the cable out and this pops right out as well there you go. Uh, and the carb, except for the choke cable, which is just back here. Pops back out. And the carb is free. Oh, we got the throttle positioning sensor right here. Just uh, pull this clip back. And remove that. That's your throttle position sensor. 
and your carb is now free. Okay. All right, finally we got the carb removed and we pretty much unhook most of the electrical harness. Um, there's a few more things yet to unhook, but we want to get that out of the way. All that wiring for now. This is the coil wire. We'll uh, unhook that as well. There we go. And uh, yeah, so now we'll just take this off here. Just zip tie it. So all that wiring so far, moving it to the back out of the way. Now going to remove the the headers. We'll come back after we got all the bowls removed from the header and let you see what's that look like. Up here we got the, the tag on the bike here. So as you can see, it's a permit there. Some more info on the bike. All right, we're gonna be removing the engine line. Already loosened this one up. One on each side. Get a 12 mil. Right now we got the engine top bolts mounts removed and as you can see over here we just one one bolt holding it up and my jacks underneath there got it just rested on the tire what i'm going to do is get get a a crate where i can lower it down on there um and then we'll be able to remove that bike and, and uh, just get that engine separated